is my friend and she is a legend. You're just going to assume a nice little posture while I just talk about what happens. I wish you all could hear what, um, what was just went on in this room because every woman <laughs> in the room just about cringe right now. And, um, you know, my daughters go to gymnastics and 17-year-old bodies apparently can do this. <laughs> I, I cannot remember a time in my life when my body could actually do this. But, you know, a sign, when you're kind of getting older, do you notice that uh, you become more inflexible? <laughs> like, I was going to ask several women over 40 out of this room <laughs> to, to come and volunteer. <laughs> but no, nobody took me up on my offer in this room, so I had to get a 17-year-old. Uh, do you notice that they're flexible? And, um, you know, you, not only were you able to do that, you, you might want to show us, Maddie, just there's a few um, amazing things you're able to do that just watch what the body is capable of. You know, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to move. That's it for the next 400 years. That's fantastic. And um, there was something you could do with your leg. This one I can't even physically look at myself, but that's OK. <laughs> look at this, everyone. Whoa. You know, it's amazing. Is that painful? Whoa, that <laughs> makes me even madder. But, you know, <laughs> like, you know when you watch the Olympics and this sort of is what they do and you go, you know... <laughs> I'm, like, so tried. <laughs> you know? it just, and there's sort of one last finale, isn't there? Come on. You, oh, Lord. OK, this is it, people. Yes. You can see the similarities. <laughs> and you're all wondering what that's got to do with getting old. But a sign of youthfulness is that you're incredibly flexible. You can do different things. Your body does things that just, you know, one wonders how. But you know that a sign of um, old age is that you've stopped stretching. Because really, the only reason you're not flexible anymore is because you stop stretching. That's the only deal. You stop stretching. So a lot of us, we stop stretching. We stop reaching forward to lay a hold of all of that for which Christ Jesus laid a hold of us a long time ago. And so we are spiritually tight. So instead of being able to be flexible and move our arms and our limbs and kind of step into the full stature that God has for us, we kind of tight, tighten up. And we don't even like change anymore. We're reactionary to it. We're not flexible. And, you know, the church that I come from, we, we have this great saying that it says, like, blessed are the flexible, for they shall not be snapped. And, um, you know, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like a big thing that you can just stay flexible in the kingdom of God. But you can tell someone's getting old and they're no longer growing in the things of God. And you don't have to be old in age. I'm just talking about in spirit here. When they start, like, I don't want to change. You know, famous seven last words of the church, we've never done it that way before. <laughs> No, no, I don't want a new group. Oh, I don't like that smoke machine. It's got demons. And, you know, it's kind of like... <laughs> it, it goes, oh, that, that rock and roll music, they just sing, you know, uh, so loud. And so, no, no, God once moved on that song, so we're still singing Noah's Ark's greatest hits because God <laughs> once moved on some song. Oh, no, I don't like these, these young people. <laughs> Oh, back in my day, that's not what we did. Back in my... You've become your mother. <laughs> and we just... We're not flexible. No, we don't like that, because I like it like this. I thought, whoa, I didn't know you were called to minister to yourself. But anyway, so it's like, no, I don't, I don't like this. And so what happens is when you kind of lose that flexibility, you just want everything to be so-so. You know, you notice that with old people, they like to go the same way. This is the shopping day. Like, if I go to my mother, I could fly back home. Mum, if you're watching this, I love you, but this is true. I could go home <laughs> and say, you know, Mum, I'm, I'm, like, in another country, haven't seen you for months, and, you know, but... No, Christine, that's my bingo night. <laughs> like, you know, it's, <laughs> that's it. It's like, we, we don't break the routine. Have you ever noticed that? We, that we don't like our routines broken. This is how we always go. <laughs> well, I wonder if you're, like, that kind of Christian that you're stuck in a rut. And, you know, you stay stuck in a rut long long enough, that thing's going to become a grave.